No chance. Richard Eden reveals royal exile Sussexes through King's private birthday uninvited decision. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are really in exile after the palace's significant decision not to invite them to the King's birthday parade. Quote, it's significant. When Harry and Meghan quit royal duties, officials were very keen to stress that they would still be invited to occasions such as Troop in the Color, he tells Mail's Palace Confidential. So the fact that they haven't been invited is very significant. The Daily Mail's royal editor, Rebecca English, points out that combined with the lease on his Frogmore Cottage property running out, it adds to his rootlessness and the pair's distance from the country they once called home. It really emphasizes the slightly rootless nature that he has in the UK, as she says. Truthfully, everyone I speak to says they can't ever see Meghan coming back here. They really can't. But Harry will need to come back here for practical reasons. Eden believes that it really is an exile for Harry and Meghan now. This year's event is particularly significant because it's the first since Charles succeeded to the throne last September. But while the British royal family usually turn out in force for the occasion, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not been invited. He wrote in his column, When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit royal duties three years ago, Queen Elizabeth said they would always be much-loved members of the family, and Buckingham Palace officials were keen to stress that they would continue to be invited to many family events. I hear that Harry and Meghan have not, however, been invited to the King's birthday parade on the weekend. It'll be the first time in Harry's life that he has not been welcome at the monarch's official birthday celebrations. I'm afraid it's a reflection of the state of relations at the moment. Harry and Meghan traveled from California for last year's Troop in the Color, which became part of the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee weekend. The couple were invited by the late monarch to watch the ceremony with other members of the royal family from offices overlooking Horse Cars Parade. They were not, however, asked to be on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the official fly pass later in the day. The official birthday of the monarch is marked each year by a military parade and the march pass, known as Troop in the Color. The troops participating in the parade are drawn of fully trained operational troops from the household division. Elsewhere in the latest installment on Mail Plus's Palace Confidential series, the Daily Mail's royal editor, Rebecca, discussed the Prince and Princess of Wales' approach to their duties. During the episode, the expert noted how Prince William and Kate quite often appear in public without one another. Earlier in the week, the Prince of Wales attended a documentary screening with his aunt, the Duchess of Edinburgh. Explaining why Kate did not join William on this occasion, Rebecca said, They are quite respectful of each other's big passions. And there's the kids as well. They always try to make sure that one of them is around to do the school run at some point during the day. They want to be hands-on parents, and they can't do it if both of them are doing a job in the evening. Rebecca then agreed with host Joe Elvin that it was a perfectly normal household arrangement. Noting that it was quite unusual for the Duchess of Edinburgh to accompany Prince William on an engagement, the Daily Mail's diary editor, Richard Eden, said she's quite interested in conservation as well. So it was quite natural for Sophie to attend. The palace thought it would be nice for Sophie to join him because of her interest in the subject. On Tuesday night, the Duchess of Edinburgh enjoyed a rare joint engagement with the Prince of Wales, and royal experts said it's a clear sign of just how important Sophie has become to the royal family.